Welcome to the subject services marketing. In this session, we shall learn about the basics of services marketing, the characteristics of services marketing and the concept of services marketing triangle. It is often confusing to understand what is services marketing. Let us know the basics of services marketing now. Services marketing is a specialized branch of marketing. Services marketing emerged as a separate field of study in the early 80s following the recognition that the unique characteristics of services required different strategies compared with the marketing of physical goods. Now, to know better, it is important for us to discuss what really is service. A service can be as simple as you helping someone reach home safely. Another example can be a person teaching karate to a group of children. For this service, this person may charge certain fees or may offer the service free of cost. To market this karate training, one has to use the principles of services marketing. Now, a question arises, why a specialized field of study called services marketing? For this, we better understand the difference between a product and a service. The major difference noted between the two is that a product is physical in nature and it is tangible. On the other hand, it can be seen that a service is intangible and it cannot be held, therefore cannot be separated from the provider. When you buy a car, you take that car home and that becomes your property. You become the owner of that car. That is a product, something that is tangible and an ownership has been transferred to you. However, when you take the same car to the service center for some repair, a service is rendered to you by the service center by repairing the car. In this case, you really can't see the repair and whatever the tools had been used to repair your car don't become your property. In simple words, a product is tangible and the ownership is transferred. Whereas, a service is intangible and ownership is not transferred. Now, let us look at the characteristics of services. There are four characteristics of services marketing. One, intangibility. Two, heterogeneity or variability. Three, perishability. Four, inseparability or simultaneous of, of production and consumption. Let us discuss each one of them first intangibility as mentioned earlier services are intangible and do not have a physical existence hence services cannot be touched held tasted or smelt this is most defining feature of a service and that which primarily differentiates it from a product also it poses a unique challenge to those engaged in marketing a service as they need to attach tangible attributes to an otherwise intangible offering. Heterogeneity or variability. Given the very nature of services, each service offering is unique and cannot be exactly repeated by the same service provider. While the products can be mass produced and be homogeneous, the same is not true of services. Example. A burger of a particular flavor at McDonald's are almost identical. However, the same is not true of the service rendered by the same counter staff consecutively or to two customers. Perishability. Services cannot be stored, saved, returned or resold once they have been used. Hence, rendered to a customer, the service is completely consumed and cannot be delivered to another customer. Example, a customer classified with the services of a barber cannot return the services of haircut that was rendered to him or her. At the point, at the most, he may decide not to visit that particular barber in the future. Inseparability or simultaneity of production and consumption. In this, uh, this refers to the fact that services are generated and consumed within the same time frame. Example, a haircut is delivered to and consumed by the consumer simultaneously, unlike say a, a takeaway burger, which a customer may consume even after few hours of purchase. Moreover, it is very difficult to separate a service from the service provider. Example, the barber is necessarily 
a, a part of service of a haircut that he is rendering to the customer. Now let us look at the concept of services marketing triangle. The services marketing triangle or services triangle as it is commonly called underlines the relationship between various providers of service and the customers who consume the services. As we know relationships are most important in service sector. The service triangle outlines all the relationships that exist between the company, the employees and the customers. Furthermore, it is also outlines the importance of systems in a service industry and how these systems help achieve customer satisfaction. As the name suggests, the services marketing triangle can also be used to market the service to customers. The marketing completely depends on the interaction going on between the customer and the service provider. We will look at each of these interactions in detail. First, the company to the customer. One of the critical thing is to communicate the service strategy to the customers. Most of the e-commerce companies are nowadays employed in convincing the customers to buy from their portals only. For this buying, they are communicating various service advantages which the customers have. Communication of the service strategy to customers is importance to build the trust of the customers and hence the to convert the customers to be loyal to the company. Companies uh, to employees that is the second point. Another important relationship in the services triangle is that between the company and the employees. Imagine an airline where the flight attendants themselves are frustrated with the company. You as a customer will land up with uh, the poorest services. Hence training employees, building value and trust and empowering employees are some of the ways that the company can make their employees a positive influencing force for the customers. Third point, the most important relationship in the services triangle is between employee and the customers. The employee to the customer interaction is also known as moment of truth or critical incidents. A single customer can become dissatisfied with the way the employees treat them or that the single customer can buy a lot of material from same store because the employees treated them or her uh, like a king or a queen. That is the difference the employees can create when they interact with the customers. There are companies which are high in, uh, in customer satisfaction index just because their employees are well trained and are empowered to take their own decision. More importantly, these employees are ingrained with the habit that customer is a king, queen or now princess too. Once your employees start treating the customer as, as if they are really king or, or queen or a prince or princesses, the whole service triangle gets completed and you will get the best result from all the processes employed. In this session, we learned about the basics about, of services marketing the characteristics of services marketing and the concept of services marketing triangle. In the next session, we shall discuss the services marketing mix and the gaps model of services quality. Thank you. Happy learning.